Okay, so we are really talking about graphing in 3D space. Okay, 19, funny. So if I had to graph 2, 3, 4, the point 2, 3, 4, it's a point. It's an actual point. So one more time, I've got, you know, my ruler thinks Daniela. I don't know if Daniela helps. And Daniel, hang on there, there, and there, right? You got it. So, I mean, I have to go out one, two, then one, two, three, then one, two, three, four. And that's going to be really hard to turn in your homework, right? So we have to be able to take this three-dimensional model and put it on a 2D graph. So what I want to do is look at this. So if I look at this box, okay, we're going to try and create a box. So maybe you go out. Let's see, where is it at? So four. So maybe you go out. You go out, watch, you go out maybe one, two, one, two, then you go over one, two, three, and up one, two, three, four. So your point would be here at the top of this box, right? So if I could three dimensionally draw this box, three dimensionally draw this box on here, it gives me a real good visual. So what I want to do first is draw the bottom of the box, which is a square, right? Or a rectangle. And since I'm drawing it in 3D space, it's really going to look like a parallelogram. So watch me do it. So in order to draw a 3D box, let's draw the first two first. This is going to be the bottom of my box. It's a little tricky. Okay, let's see if we can do it. So I'm going to go out one, two on my x-axis. Out one, two. I'm going to go over one, two, three on my y-axis. Now, those are just two sides of a box. Remember, this is a three-dimensional object. The box is a square box, or rectangular box, but we're going to draw it like a parallelogram because it's a perspective drawing. So think about a parallelogram. So when I draw a parallelogram, things have to be parallel, right? So I'm going to draw a little parallel line here. One, two, three, right? One, two, three. I'm going to draw a little parallel line right here. So you see I've got my lines have to be parallel to the axis. This line needs to be parallel to the x-axis. This line needs to be parallel to the y-axis. Okay, so I really have, in a sense, the bottom of my box. Okay, can everybody do that? Draw a little parallelogram. Parallel to the x-axis, parallel to the y-axis. And then I'm just going to go from all four corners. I'm going to go up four. Because I'm going to then go on all four corners up one, two, three, four. So I've got the bottom of my box. Everybody good on that? Thumbs up. Everybody's got the bottom? Everybody got the bottom? So let's do the back side of the box first. It's the easiest side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I make the back side of my box. That's the back end, right? I'm starting to get a three-dimensional figure, right? I can go on this side and go up my one, two, three, four, thinking that it's got to be a parallelogram. So I only brought it up to there. See, I only brought it up to there because I'm going to connect those in a second. I only went up that high. And the same thing I'll do here is I'll only go up that high. So I make the front of my box. I've made the front of my box. Am I going too fast? And then if I connect the corners, I've made my box. Connect the corners. So there's a three-dimensional box. Now let's put the point where it belongs. I'll wait for you. Okay. Did you make a box? Nice. Okay, thumbs up. How many kids really do have a box? I want to see. One, two, three. Nice. Okay. Some of you will struggle. I apologize. I apologize. Some of you will struggle. So let's graph our points. Our point is one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So our point A is right there. Okay. Point A is right there. And you really get a good visual picture of where it is, right? Three dimensionally. You can see it because you can see the depth. Okay. Thumbs up. Okay, let's look at example two. So example two, let's do the same thing. Let's graph first. This will actually be the top of the box because we're going to go down five. So we take the two first coordinates and I'll go back three. So I'll go, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three, back three. I'll go over one, two, right? And again, I need a, for the top, I need a parallelogram. Okay, so I went back two, 
back three, sorry, over two. And now I'm going to make a parallelogram. So it's got to be parallel to the x-axis, right? It's got to be parallel to the y-axis. So I kind of create my parallelogram. Okay, there it is. So that's going to be the top of my box because I'm going to go down next, okay? So just try and make a parallelogram. Make sure it's parallel to the x-axis, parallel to the y-axis, all right? And then I'm just going to go down five at each corner. Each corner of the box, I'm just going to go down five. So I'll go down one, two, three, four, five. Down one, two, three, four, five. So I'll make, to make it easy, I'll make the front of my box first, okay? So I made the front of my box first. So I just took my, went down five and down five. Went down five, went down five, and of course I made the front of my box, okay? All right, I can do the same thing here, but think, again, a parallelogram. I can down five, now think parallelograms. I always think parallelograms, so down a little bit, scoot it over, okay? So I've got that side of the box. So I made a parallelogram. Think, always think parallel. Always think parallel, okay? Par parallelogram, down one, two, three, four, five, right? Making the back of my box inside. So just keep thinking, if you're gonna make a box three-dimensionally in perspective, draw parallelograms, right? Now, point B should be back three, one, two, three, over one, two, and down, one, two, three, four, five. There's point B. Did you get it? Let me see. Who got it? I want to see. Thumbs up. Nice. Okay, you guys are a good group. This is much better than I've seen in a lot of years. Hallelujah. I got the smart ones, didn't I? Okay, now, example three. So, if I have a zero, if I have a zero, then it's going to be a box with no depth. Does that make sense? It's just going to be a square. It's going to be a box with no depth, so it's just a square. So let's see if we can draw this, okay? And we're going to make our square really look like maybe a parallelogram because of the three-dimensional perspective. But let's go over three, one, two, three, and up, one, two, three, four, five. And John has said it's just a square, so, or a rectangle, right? You guys see it there? And then my point C is right there. Okay. Not too bad. Thumbs up. That was, that was easy. Thumbs up on that one. Okay, turn the page. No, did you say wait? I'm sorry, Josie. Okay. Okay, turn the page. Now, before I do example four, if I had if I had a three x plus a four y equals twelve, that's a line, right? Okay, three x plus four y equals twelve, that's a line. But if I have a three x, four y, and a z, this is a plane. Okay, this is a plane. 3x plus 4y plus 2z is a plane. If you've got all three variables, it's a plane. So how do I graph the plane? First of all, let's find the intercepts. Let's find the intercepts. So the intercepts are where the other variables are zero. So if we want to find the x-intercept, let y and z equal zero. Okay. If you want to find the x-intercept, let y and z equal zero. So in my equation, I'd go, okay, 3x plus 4 times 0 plus 2 times 0 equals 12. And I'm doing a lot of work I don't really need to. You guys agree? I don't really need to plug in the zeros. You guys, it just cancels out. Because that's just 0, that's a plus 0. So that's just really 3x equals 12, or x equals 4. Okay, so that's the x-intercept of my plane. Okay, so if you let y and z be 0, Right? They just basically cancel out. So let's put a dot at 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Now if I want the y-intercept, I'm going to save some steps, but obviously you let x and z be 0. Does that make sense? You're going to let x and z be 0, so you really have a 4y equals 12 or y equals 3. A little less work, right? So then I'm going to go and go 1, 2, 3 on my y-axis. 
And the same thing if I need, need my Z intercept. We're just going to let X and Y be 0, right? Same thing. So I'd have a 2Z equals 12. Z equals 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, it's a plane, right? So what we're going to do is draw in the triangle, right? We draw in the triangle. Make it look like it's three-dimensional, so I'm going to shade it in. And we know that this plane goes on forever, right? This is only a very small piece of the plane, small triangular piece of the plane, right? So what we've drawn only that we can see, all we can see is the, is the blue triangle, right? But it goes forever. Everybody see that? But it'd be awfully hard to draw the whole thing, correct? Okay, easy so far? All right. Last one, almost done, same thing. So, yes? Oh, why is it a square? Or a cube? Because it has three sides. Oh, I see. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, graph the plane. If this is a plane, then first of all, let's find the y. So the z, so if I let z, I'd have a, let's go first of all, I'm sorry, let's go y. Let's go 3y equals 6, y equals 2, right? 1, 2, okay? I've got a negative 2z equals 6, z equals negative 3. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, okay? So what am I going to get? We're going to get a plane, but a plane does not cross the x at all just looks like this. All right, so homework. Here it is, page 216. We're going to do 2, 4, 6, 7, 24, 26, 47, and 48. And Anna, your mom's going to be...